There was some big contract news around the NFL on Friday, and it involved the Philadelphia Eagles signing tight end Dallas Godert to a four-year contract extension. Rest assured that Miami Dolphins tight end Mike Jasicki, or at least his agent, was paying attention. Jasicki is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent next offseason and his status with the Dolphins beyond this year will become one of the biggest topics once the 2021 season ends. The Dolphins' current roster includes 19 pending unrestricted free agents, according to OverTheCap.com, and Jasicki clearly stands as one of the most prominent along with defensive end Emmanuel Ogba. Godert's contract is believed to be worth $59 million, with $35.7 million guaranteed. The financial terms are awfully similar to what Baltimore Ravens tight end Mark Andrews got in his own contract extension, signed in September. Jasicki currently is tied with Darren Waller of the Raiders for fourth among NFL tight ends with 44 receptions, behind Travis Kelsey, TJ Hawkinson and Andrews, and it's fair to suggest as he's good a receiving tight end as anybody not named Kelsey, Kittle or Waller. But the thing with Jasicki, and this isn't the first time anybody is going to be hearing or reading this, is that he's more like an oversized wide receiver than a pure tight end considering how often he lines up in the slot and how seldom he's asked to block. That makes his value on the market hard to gauge, though one would think his representation is going to be pointing at the Godert and Andrews contracts. That the Dolphins chose to extend linebacker Jerome Baker and Jason Sanders in 2021 as they were entering their contract year, but not Jasicki or Ogba, certainly was noteworthy. In the case of Ogba, the best guess was that the Dolphins wanted to see him duplicate his breakout season of 2020, and it's hard to say there's been any drop-off in his play even if he might not end up with the same number of sacks. The Jasicki situation is more complicated because of his unique skill set and the question of whether the Dolphins will want to shell out big money next offseason for a receiving tight end. It's also impossible not to go back to the selection of tight end Hunter Long in the third round of the 2021 draft and not wonder whether that was done with a post jasicki future in mind, particularly with Long being inactive for all but three games so far in his rookie season. Long's receiving potential certainly would seem more likely to be used to replace what would be lost without Jasicki, clearly more so than becoming a replacement for fellow pending Ufa tight end Durham Smythe. The Dolphins conceivably could decide to use the franchise tag on Jasicki to hang on to his rights for at least one more year, and that would cost them $9.6 million based on 2021 figures, while a transition tag would be $8.2 million. What to do with Jasicki is going to be just one of the many decisions involving pending UFA. Along with Smythe and Ogba, the rest of the Dolphins players scheduled to be UFAs in 2022 are center Cameron Tom, wide receiver Isaiah Ford, wide receiver Will Fuller V, linebacker Duke Riley, running back Malcolm Brown, linebacker Brennan Scarlett, Michael Pilardi, wide receiver Albert Wilson, center Greg Mance, defensive tackles John Jenkins, wide receiver Mac Hollins, cornerback Justin Coleman, Jason McCourty, center Austin Ryder, quarterback Jacoby Brissett and linebacker Alandon Roberts. The issue of his next contract has come up a few times during Jasicki media sessions this season, and his answer is always the same, he's not worried about next offseason and only focused on the next game. At some point, though, it is going to become an issue for Jasicki and for the Dolphins, and it's hard to predict at this point how it's going to play out.